Hey, it's Dr. Karen Tang, and today we were talking about emergency birth control pills. Are they the same thing as the abortion pill? Spoiler, they're not. If you're new to my channel, I'm a board-certified gynecologist and minimally invasive GYN surgeon, and we talk about all things sexual health and reproductive health with just a little bit of sass. So if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and hit notifications so you don't miss any information. So emergency birth control or Plan B has been in the news quite a bit recently, almost always involving somebody getting it totally wrong. So there was a nurse practitioner who recently sued CBS uh, because she said that they fired her for refusing to prescribe or dispense abortion-inducing medications. And all of the news outlets that covered this story, Washington Post, various TV news outlets, all completely perpetuated this mistaken idea that emergency birth control was the abortion pill, and they called it an abortifacient, which is a medication that induces abortion. So I thought we need today to talk about what is emergency birth control, how does it work, and how is it different from the actual abortion pill. Now in this news story, this nurse practitioner says that because of her Catholic faith, she believes that life begins at conception and therefore anything that would impact an embryo that has already been conceived would be against her religion. So already wrong because emergency birth control, there's no embryo, there's no conception. The whole idea is to prevent ovulation so that there is no egg that can then meet a sperm and become an embryo with fertilization. So um, my husband actually, believe it or not, is a Catholic ethicist and he used to teach an ethics course. Um, and at the beginning of the course, he always gave them some basic sex ed about birth control, how conception works, because he said, and I agree, you can't debate the ethics of something if you don't actually understand how it works. So what actually is emergency birth control? Emergency birth control or the morning after pills are usually progesterone tablets like Plan B or its generics or something called Ulipristol or Ella, which is a progesterone receptor modulator. You can actually even use regular run of the mill birth control pills taken with multiple pills in a day, something called the USB method. And all of these hormonal methods are meant to prevent your ovaries from releasing an egg sometime after unprotected sex, up to 72 hours for Plan B and its generics and up to five days for Ella and the combined hormonal birth control methods. The sooner you take it after unprotected sex, the more effective it is. However, all birth control, including emergency birth control, has a failure risk. So if you actually do ovulate and it gets fertilized by a sperm and there's an embryo and it implants in the uterus, these birth control methods do not cause an abortion. It does not cause an implanted embryo to be lost. This is in contrast with Mifepristone or RU486, the actual abortion pill, which does cause an implanted embryo to be lost. I did want to take a second to talk about a different medicine called mesoprostol, which has also gotten mixed up in this whole what is an abortion pill controversy. Mesoprostol is used with Mifepristone for medical abortions. It opens the cervix and it can cause some uterine cramping. We use it for a lot of different things in gynecology, though. We help to open the cervix for IUD insertions or for hysterectomy hysteroscopies or DNCs, or we have to get into the uterus. It helps to make those procedures a little bit safer and more comfortable. But a lot of pharmacists have now associated with the idea of abortion and are refusing to dispense it to patients. There was even a patient recently who was postmenopausal, needed it for a DNC, and her pharmacist refused to give it to her because he thought she might be inducing an abortion with it. So again, where even educated people in the medical profession are getting this totally wrong. It is not in and of itself an abortion pill. In another bizarre misunderstanding of how emergency birth control works, Governor Abbott of Texas also recently said that rape victims could take Plan B instead of having abortions. Now, again, totally misunderstanding how this works, but the bigger point is he's saying that, well, rape victims don't need abortions because if you just take emergency birth control, you'll never need it. Um, obviously, like we said, every birth control, including emergency birth control, can fail and patients do become pregnant. Even though it's a very good method, it is not anywhere close to 100%. It's more like 75 to 90% effective. And especially you have to take it within that window. A lot of rape victims may not come in for medical care right away. They may be too traumatized. And even if they took it perfectly, it may still fail. They may still get pregnant. So emergency birth control does not replace the need for abortion because it doesn't always prevent pregnancy. Finally, I just want to say as a board certified gynecologist who spent 
decades uh, training and learning about medicine so that I could help patients take care of these medical decisions. How disturbing it is that elected officials, the media, pharmacists can basically take something that they have completely misunderstood and make laws about it or to refuse to provide care for patients. Uh, it is so distressing that people's lives are being impacted by other people's ignorance. And so I just want to use these platforms as many as I possibly can to try and get this information out there because clearly so many people are confused about this, even those in power who are impacting your future. So I am begging you, please share this information and hold these people accountable. The elected officials, the media who are getting this wrong and saying that things are border facings when they're not, um, the uh, people that you know who are spreading misinformation. It doesn't have to be this particular video. My friend, Dr. Jennifer Lincoln also made excellent videos about emergency contraception, everything you need to know. Just put the good information out there because we have to combat so much misinformation. It is so frustrating. Um, and I think that we can win this misinformation battle. We just have to fight harder. Don't worry, I'm in this with you and we will get through this together. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already hit like, subscribe, and notifications, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or ideas for other topics you want me to cover in videos. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.